In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Philip Neri. He lived in the 16th century, and he was known for his joyful spirit, his simplicity of heart, and his readiness always to reach out to those in need. As we gather for the Eucharist, we gather with confidence in the constant strength of God's saving mercy. Lord Jesus, you continue to serve us through the mystery of your death and resurrection. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who never cease to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Come to our aid, O God of the universe. Look upon us. Show us the light of your mercies and put all the nations in dread of you. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you, O Lord. Give new signs and new wonders. Gather all the tribes of Jacob that they may inherit the land of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Give evidence of your deeds of old. Fulfill the prophecies spoken in your name. Reward those who have hoped in you and let your prophets be proved true. Hear the prayers of your servants, for you are ever gracious to your people, and lead us in the way of justice. Thus it will be known to the very ends of the earth that you are the eternal God. The word of the Lord. Our response this morning is, show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Let the prisoner's sign come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give you thanks forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples were on the way, going up 
to Jerusalem, and Jesus went ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. Taking the twelve aside, he began to tell them what was going to happen to them, uh, to him. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles who will mock him, spit upon him, scourge him, and put him to death. But after three days, he will rise. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit, one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. And Jesus said to them, The chalice that I drink you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes we show what is inside of us. Our inner desires become manifest, they become known, they become public, often in our speech. And that is the case in the first reading from the book of Sirach, which is really a prayer where the praying person speaks of deep desires. Give new signs and work new wonders, O God. Show forth your mercy anew. May your glory fill all of Jerusalem. And that is set in contrast with the desires of James and John made manifest in the gospel. We want to sit at your right and your hand in glory. The vain glory of James and John. So it's important for us to pay attention to the words that come out of our mouths because those words can manifest what is inside of us, our deep desires. And that experience can help us to pay attention to what is inside of us, that our desires, our hopes, our wants are more and more formed by what is of Christ.
Mindful of God's care about us in our need, let us pray. For all who serve faithfully in Catholic communities around the world, may they be sustained by the power of the Holy Spirit and the challenges of their daily ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people of the world, may we be drawn together in peace by the one true God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those seeking truth and justice in their lives, may God's word inspire and encourage them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God continue to guide each one of us to repentance and conversion where we need it most. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died with Christ, may they be raised with him in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, source of our faith, our hope, and our love, hear these prayers we offer this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, who is almighty and ever living. <clears throat> o Lord, as we offer you the sacrifice of praise, we ask that by the example of Saint Philip Neri, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord God, almighty and eternal, through Jesus the Christ. For as on the festival of St. Philip Neri, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen us by the example of his holy life. Teach us by his words of preaching and keep us safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. O Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Bernard, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Philip Neri and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confident hope, as the Lord Jesus teaches, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Let us share a greeting of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. O Lord, as we, are, as we feed upon these heavenly delights, we pray that in imitation of St. Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go forth to glorify the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God.